I always knew that I wanted to be an Olympic gymnast. I did every competition you could have done. I did Olympics, did Worlds, did European. I won Commonwealth gold. I always felt like I, I finished too early. I was in that era of gymnastics where 18 was deemed as old. After an Olympic Games, people just filtered out and the next generation came along. My life changed. There you are. I had a child and I wasn't an athlete, I was just a mum. <laughs> I always felt like I had unfinished business, so I was like, I want to make a comeback. And oh my God, the amount of people that told me I was crazy. There's no way you can come back. You can't do this. You've had 15 years out, your body's changed. Please. She was so passionate and desperate to prove herself and everyone this time is thinking surely she can't come back at that supreme level again. To be a top level gymnast at the age of 33 is almost unheard of. I'm stubborn. I like to prove people wrong. Trying to be a professional athlete as a single parent is hard. She's very supportive. Whenever I win a medal, she'll take it into school for show and tell. The first year was very, very difficult. You've got shin splints and you can't walk your daughter to school because you're in so much pain. There's almost a quality that you can't quite put your finger on. To be training at that intensity and for your body to cope, she really is a one-off. I know it's going to be a real struggle to fight for a position on the Olympic team. There's something that is keeping me fighting. There's something telling me not to quit. So many people say, you know, when you have a kid, you can't do the things you want to do. If anything, I don't think this comeback would have been as successful had I not have had her, because she's the reason I don't quit now. She's watching and she's seeing everything that I'm doing. And if I just quit because it's getting hard, I'm not setting an example for her, am I? I'm doing this for me and for my daughter. She's my motivation.